So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlock. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Raid Armor video. Now, this is really cool because I do think some of these pieces are super cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I, for me personally, I think some of these sets are probably some of the best sets that I've made from all the classes just because none of these are like, this is okay, this is okay. All of these are like legit. These are super dope. I'm definitely going to try to be using this in, in multiple sets. So Warlocks, let me, let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's just look into it. So for the first one, we're going to be using the helmet. And this one's really cool because I combine it with the Resonant Fury robes. Uh, I just think that's going to be a good pairing. And then the Forbidden Visage boots. Now, this is where this this combination of shaders comes into play. And I will be talking about this in the Erebos Glance video that I'm currently working on. The fact that you can combine the Erebos Glance shader with the Omnicronia shader together because the Erebos Glance has this really almost one to one color of the Omnicronia uh, plate armor is so fucking cool that to the point where I'm just going to try to do this now. So for this one, obviously using the helmet with Cryptic Insignia shader just so I can get that rich black for the arms we're using Grasp of Ear, which is from King's Fall. And this one we're putting on Omnicronia so that way I can have black on. I say black, but it's kind of like a dark blue or navy, I should say. But we're going to use that so that we can get a really dark color on the arms. And then for the plate armor, we're going to be using that Omnicronia uh, like chrome um, brown. I don't know what color this is, actually. And then for Orobos Glance, specifically chose choosing that one just because not only is it a really good black color, but it's also a really good color to combine with the Omnicronia boots, specifically Forbidden Visage boots, because it's almost like a one to one. It's a little, a little scary. And then the Technologic Bond, just because I didn't want anything too crazy there. So this one has a lot, a lot of potential to do some really, really cool shit. But if you guys want to know my honest opinion, like, oh, what exotic would you put with this one? And like, just to look good, but not like viable for me, I'd probably use Getaway Artist with the Erwin Swagger ornament. I think that would look really cool. But yeah, actually, no, there's no but. That's the one I would use. Uh, you Actually, you could probably use Necrotic Grips with the um, Nevois Filigree ornament or the Chimera Sting ornament. I think either of those two would look really, really good together. But yeah, I really like this set. Super dope. Love the color combination of Omnicronia and Erebus Glance. Very happy that I found that. Let me know what you guys think. The next one I actually did kind of hint at in my uh, armor review for the video if you guys haven't seen i'll have it up right now this is the review for the actual armor set didn't actually realize this but i didn't showcase this hunters and titans you guys have your own video it's right here i'll have it at the bottom so that way you guys can see it but we go over all of the armor sets for the hunter and titans and some of them are really really cool you guys should definitely check it out but for the warlocks let me tell you guys right now this shit is fire bro so for the helmet we're gonna be using the Fallen Sunstar. I love this ornament. It looks super cool. Now for the arms, obviously we're using the raid armor, but for the chest piece, we're using Dendrite Shimmer robe specifically because it's very pointy, has a lot of points to it. And I just decided like, I want to, I, I want to lean into that point. So that's why I'm using Dendrite Shimmer with the arms. For the boots, Tekken's Regalia boots was a choice that I made just because there's blue in here, might as well. And I also wanted something that looked a little heavy at the bottom as well. And then Arc Light Bond because uh, specifically, not only are we using blue, but the uh, helmet, which is again, Falling Sunstar, has a lot of like currents going through it. So I just decided might as well do it because it's going to look cool either way. So this one is actually my favorite. It just looks super, super cool. And I'm actually really, really proud of this one because it just looks really cool. For the next one, also really fucking cool. We're using the boots for this one. And I am really happy that I decided to go with the Venomous Bond because a it combines the boots into one color because if you guys don't know it actually has color separation but in this shader actually just combined it into one shader and then we're using dragonfly regalia mandible with the corrupting echo robes just because it looks amazing together and then the boots obviously for the bond this is funny because it's show it's showing bond of warm lore but it's not that one but you could use that one if you want i'm currently using the corrupting echoes bond just because it gives off that glow that the necrotic grips has so i really like this set it's super dope very viable people use necrotic grips all the time so i would probably use this set just because the boots actually look really cool with this set and it actually does have that green glow and for the stones so even better like it, it kind of looks like i'm 
I would probably switch out the helmet for something else, maybe, maybe a little bit more hive themed because then you can actually really like cosplay that you're like a hive character because the crystals on your on your feet are actually like old guardians that you knew and you just put them on their on your boot on your boots for some reason like it's really cool so warlocks let me know what you guys think i think a lot of these are bangers for their own separate reasoning like again for the first one the the, sh the shader uh combination of both of them were really good i think the fact that the arms are very pointy and i combine it with a chest piece that was already pointy is such a dub and then for the last one the fact that the color separation for the boots um with venomous is actually no separation is really cool and the fact that you can like pretty co pretty much cosplay a, uh, like uh you can pretty much cosplay a hive infected guardian with little guardian crystals on your on your boots is really cool but also just overall i just think it looks good so warlocks let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think about the armor set as a whole like titan hunter warlock let me know what you guys think i personally think a lot of the armor is very miss but the pieces that you do find that are like ooh, they they're really good so yeah let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe and i'll see you guys later